Now coming towards exercise 7H, we have question number one. We have to use the balance method uh, to find make the y as the subject of each formula. Why? We have to find out y in each of the question number one. So what is the first part? Part A is c equals to x plus y. And we have to use the balance method. What is a balance method? In the balance method is whenever we are going to add something you know, on one side of the equation we have to add on both sides if we want from one side then we have to subtract from both sides if we are going to divide or multiply we have to do everything with both of the sides so that the balance will remain the same so uh, we have to find out x from here y from here sorry y from here but how we can find y from here one is the simplest method that we take this x to the other side and it will become minus x. But the basic steps are c equals to x plus y. What is the uh, unwanted thing here? This is the unwanted thing uh, that is x. So I am going to subtract x from both sides. Okay, so this x will be cancelled plus x will be cancelled with minus x because the result will be 0. And uh, we will have y equals to c minus x or we can say y equals to c minus x. This is our, this is our uh, subject y. So we found out y. Or we can simply jump from this step to this step. I told you before that x is positive here. x will be negative on the other side and we can find y directly in one step. But the proper complete method is this balance method that in which we subtract from both sides. Then we cancel from one side because it's zero and this x is here. So we want to rewrite it um, uh, in a proper way that y equals to c minus x. But you can write directly as you know. I taught you already. Okay. So the next thing part B. Uh, part B is t equals to 3x plus 2y. You have to find out y. So first get rid of this 3x. You can say we subtract 3x from both sides or I can write I will simply take this to the other side and it will become minus 3x and how I can find out y uh, this 2 that is being multiplied here it will be divided on the other side and I can get y t minus 3x whole divided by 2 this is our y okay uh, then part c part c is p equals to 3y divided by 4. Here I have to find out y. That means 4 that is being divided here. It will multiply on the other side. And the 3 that is being multiplied here will divide on the other side. I can do this in one step or in two steps. This 3 by 4 will become 4 by 3 on the other side. Okay. Or right, we will write it completely. Like that 3 by 4. 4 will multiply on the other side. And then this... 3 will divide on the other side. That's it. This is our y. Okay. Uh, last part that is part d. d is s equals to 2 over 3y plus 4. Okay. So we have to find out this y. How we can find out this y as a subject? First we have to get rid of, uh, rid of this 4. So I can say I subtracted 4 from both sides or this will go to the other side and it will be subtracted over there. Okay. And then uh, what I can do. This is y. This 2 over 3 will become 3 over 2 on the other side. Because 2 is being multiplied here. 2 will divide on the other side. And this 3 that is being uh, divided here will multiply on the other side and I will get 3 over 2 s minus 4 so uh, I can open the brackets and you know the distributive law we will multiply both sides so y equals to 3 by 2 s and uh, 3 by 2 multiplied with 4 I can simplify it can you see this is 2 and this is 4 4 is the double of 2 so 2 2s are 4, 3 over 2 s minus 3 multiplied with 2. I'm writing the full steps y equals to 3 over 2 s minus 6. As you know, that multiplication comes before uh, subtraction. 
according to bid mass okay so uh, this is our value of y our subject y now our question number two question number two is we have to rearrange this formula and uh, first we will find r2 as a subject and then we will find i as a subject so uh, first part is first part is we will find uh, r2 as a subject okay we'll find r2 from this formula i will rewrite it v equals to i r1 plus r2 you are going to use this in physics because the voltage current and resistance uh, you will learn this so uh, v equals to i r plus r1 plus r2 so this will be how i can find r2 first i have to get rid of uh, outside the bracket what is outside the bracket outside the bracket there is i so i will be divided on the other side and i have r1 plus r2 so how i can get r2 r2 will be v over i minus r1 okay because r1 is being added here so it will subtract on the other side or we can say we subtracted r1 from both sides by the using the balanced method okay so similarly if i say part b i will rewrite the this main formula v equals to i r1 plus r2 so i have to find i as a subject here how i can find i as a subject see this i is being multiplied with r1 and r2 so this i will be v divided by r1 and r2 whole as a whole means as a as in a bracket this whole thing will be divided and we will get i equals to v divided by r1 plus r2 okay so this is our i now question number three we are given with a formula i equals to prt over 100 here first we have to find out the subject r what will be r here r is here so uh, i have to uh, get rid of the other things that are here around it so it will be p r t over 100 this 100 that is being divided here it will multiply on the other side 100 i and the other things other two things that are being multiplied they will divide on the other side if you if you feel it uh, a little bit more complicated then you can do it in two ways okay in two steps first multiply it with 100 then divide it with pt okay otherwise you can find r this way okay and the second part second part is um we have to find p from here we have to find p this is part b so uh, i equals to p r t over 100 and how i can find out this p so simply this 100 will go there to the other side it will multiply 100 i and this rt this rt will be divided on the other side this rt both of this thing that is being multiplied here it will divide on the other side okay if you compare if you compare these two formulas if you compare these two formulas the uh, if we, so we simply can switch p and r places we can simply switch p and r places uh, so that we can get p and we don't have to do the working again but maybe it's a little bit uh, difficult for you to understand but we can switch the places like this this is being multiplied here it will divide here and this is being divided here so it will multiply on the other side uh, our question number four our question number four is uh, p equals to p naught one plus alpha t or you can say a t okay uh, if you don't understand alpha then you can say a t p equals to p naught one plus alpha t and uh, we have to rearrange this formula to find p naught as a subject this is very easy see p naught is being multiplied with this bracket we simply can what we can do we can simply divide it okay so how we can find it out uh, we can write as p equals to p naught one plus alpha t 
and this P naught will be P divided by 1 plus alpha t, that's it. And this whole thing will be divided on the other side. Okay, this P naught, we will uh, separate this, we will get rid of this 1 plus alpha t and that is being multiplied. This is being multiplied here, so it will divide on the other side. We did this similar type of question previously, okay. You have to do more and more practice so that the you know, maybe the variables will change, but the method will remain same whatever the subject you are going to find out okay uh, and now question number five question number five is we have to tell them which of the uh, two groups are equivalent uh, formula we, for this we what we have to do we will make all of them in a same form for example part uh, the first equation part a is 2t equals to 8 minus 4n okay uh, if i make it like uh, uh, t and n form it will be 2t plus 4n equals to 8 okay two variables on one side and uh, 8 on the other side uh, i will take this this is this is my equation okay this is my equation let's say equation number one this was part a uh, similarly part d part d will be what part d is 4n equals to 8 minus 2t i can again i will again change it to n and t form uh, can you see the uh, so uh, again we will make this equ uh, equation equivalent to this equation we'll try to make it if it they are not equal that means they are not they didn't belong to the same group so uh, 2t equals to 8 minus 4 and we made this in the terms of n and t equals to a constant term okay uh, can i write this 2t this is uh, being subtracted here so it will add on the other side and uh, we will get 8. So, uh, can you see equation number 1 and equation number 2 are they both are same. 2n plus uh, 2t plus 4n equals to 8 and 2n plus 2t uh, 4n plus 2t equals to can you see uh, this the sum equals to 8 and here also the sum equals to 8. So, that means they are equivalent. Although they are not looking like they are same. Similarly, we have part F. Okay. That is uh, part F. That is N equals to 2 minus half of T. Okay. So, we, and they are not looking like this will uh, transform into this equation. But we will uh, try to make it. Okay. This half N will go to the other side. And it will become plus half T equals to 2 okay now what i am going to do if i want to make it eight i have to multiply the whole equation by four i am multiplying both sides multiplying i ha i can do this because i told you in the balance method we whatever the operation we are going to do we will do on both sides so multiplying both sides by four Okay, so I will get, uh, this will become 4n, okay, 4n plus 4 multiplied with half t equals to 2 multiplied with 4. This will become 8 and this will become 2, 2 are 4, so it will become 2t plus 4n. Can you see? 4n plus 2t equals to 8, 4n plus 2t equals to 8. So, this is also uh, the equivalent equation. So, this equation will also be equivalent. Uh, they simply divided with 4. They simply divide this equation with 4. So, it's another form of that equation, but they are equivalent. Similarly, part, part uh, G, part G is written as, part G is written as, uh, t equals to 4 minus 2n okay uh, 4 minus 2n can i uh, can i multiply this equation with with 2 or can i write it as a t plus 2n first i will take this n to the other side equals to 4 then i multiply the whole multiply the whole equation by 2 multiply it with Two, to the both sides so it will become 2t plus 2 twos are 4 and equals to 8 4 twos are 8 similarly this was part g 
and uh, h is already written in the same form h is written in 2t plus 4n equals to 8 so it's already written in the same form so it will also be an equivalent equation and part j part j will be 2t plus 4n minus 8 can i take this minus 8 to the other side so it will become 2t plus 4n equals to 8 okay so these equations like uh, part a part d part f part g part h and part j they will be equivalent equation others will not form the same uh, type or they will not end up to this equation they will have something separate I means something different maybe the um, addition sign someone uh, some equation have negative here some equation have negative here with the h so they are not equivalent equation okay if there is a slight difference they will not be equivalent they should be same you should be the same like 2t plus 4n equals to 8 so that we can put all of them in the same group now question number six is um, we have to rearrange the formula again and we have to find the letter in the subject for example the first part part a is l in a equals to l multiplied with b for example we have to make the subject l the letter that is written here we have to find out l l as a subject so the formula is a equals to l multiplied with b the b b is being multiplied here so it will divide on the other side and we can find l this way okay so similarly question part b question 6 part b um, r r we have to find out r and the c equals to 2 pi r can i find out uh, r from here yes i can find out i will divide this 2 pi to the other side of the equation 2 pi will be divided on the other side of the equation and i can get my r now uh, similarly part uh, c of question number six we are given with v equals to ir and we have to find out i so how i can find out i from here uh, i will be this r that is being multiplied here i have to get this uh, get rid of this r so this r will be divided on the other side and we can get r i similarly we have to find the subject l so s divided by pi r it will be equals to l so this is our this is our um, uh, l value of l that is s divided by pi r can you see pi r here that is being multiplied so it will divide on the other side and now similarly part e here we have to find out f we have to find out f so how i can find out this f uh, the f is with t so we have to separate this whole term first so it will be v minus u equals to f t because u is being added here it will subtract on the other side and uh, f will be v minus u divided by t so this is our f and now we have to find out x again x is with m so we will get rid of this c first this c will subtract on the other side and then we can find x as y minus c divided by m so this is our x uh, similarly in part g we have to find out t t is here so i told you this v this v uh, will be multiplied here and r will be divided on the other side okay let's do it in two steps okay first v will go to the other side and it will multiply there and we will get rt and then this r will be divided on the other side and we can finally get our t okay or you can simply say from this equation t will be alone and this r over v r over v will be will become v over r when it will come to the other side means there um, and they will be switched means multiplication to division and division to multiplication and here i have to find out r simply i can switch their places r and i but maybe you will not understand because i can simply write it as um, as uh, r equals to e over e over i but if it's difficult for you to understand the alternative method will be r will go to the other side and it will multiply with i so we have this 
okay then now we have to multiply r because we cannot find any variable that is in the denominator so we have to switch their place to the numerator first so we switch the um, r's place uh, at in the numerator now so r is now e over i can you see the result this result and this result is same by this we can simply switch their places of or we can multiply i with r equals to e and then r will be i that is being multiplied here this will divide on the other side so these are two different methods okay whatever you feel easy or comfortable you can use that method okay uh, last question, question number 7 of this exercise, 7H. Uh, uh, you have to write the, the formula that can be rearranged to give you x equals to 4p minus 5. I can rearrange this formula and <laughs> that can give me the result. Um, can I write as 5? I will take this 5 to the other side. This will be same. This will be the equivalent one because I took 5 to the other side. Or what I can do, I can... Um, uh, divide it with 4 this will also be the same formula okay the 4 that is being multiplied here it will divide on the other side okay similarly uh, I can do many ways like uh, I can uh, switch their all of their places to the other side uh, and uh, or I can change their signs okay so it will be uh, I will take this 4p to the other side for example, from here, I can take this 4p to the other side and it will become x minus 4p equals to minus 5. Okay. Or I can, what I can do, I can take all of them to the one side. So it will be what it will become uh, x minus 4p plus 5 because this was subtraction here. So it will be addition on the other side equals to 0. Okay, so you can make only three of them. Okay, it's up to you how you can rearrange them and you can are different. You can make a different equation. You can see the results. You can make a different ways like uh, uh, you can uh, do it like this or you can for this equation. You can like write with the negative sign. You multiply both sides with the minus one. And for this equation, you multiply both sides with the uh, negative term so you can get minus x minus 5 over 4 equals to minus p.